Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this one, we will discuss some projects using ESP8266 for beginners. So let's get started. A huge shout out to Altium and JLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Number 10. We all have maps on our smartphones, but have you ever wondered how it works? If not, then this project will explain it to you. The prime component of this project is a GPS tracker. It's a navigation device that can be placed on a vehicle, asset, person, or animal to track them. The tracker uses a process which requires three or more satellites from the Global Navigation Satellite System Network. With this process, the latitude, longitude, elevation and time of any object can be easily determined. All the values can be easily displayed on the Blink app. Number 9. Our next project is a fingerprint-based attendance system. The attendance of the user gets logged on the database when any registered user scans his fingerprint. 128 fingerprint IDs can be registered using this setup, which is enough to make a small group database, and the recorded data can also be exported to an Excel sheet. The small LED near the scanner shows whether a registered user has logged in or logged out. On the database, you can see all the entries of the user for any specific data pretty easily. So using this project, you can keep a track of your students or employees accurately. Number 8. Our next project is a stepper motor control using a web page. In this setup, both the smartphone and the microcontroller are connected to a common Wi-Fi router and communicate over a local network. On the web page, a slider is provided which turns as the stepper motor with pretty great accuracy. On sliding slowly, we can see each step of the motor with precision, while with a fixed tap over the slider, the stepper rotates up to that particular angle. This project can be a great alternative to control remote applications. Number 7. If you're looking for some home automation ideas, you can start with this AC dimmer. The AC dimmer helps in controlling your light's functions by making them brighter dimmer whenever you need to. And all of this from your phone. As you vary the slider widget on the Blink application, this changes the delay provided to the output, and hence a variable power is achieved at the output. In this way, you can control the light intensity very easily instead of just switching the bulb on or off. Interesting, right? Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs to anyone from anywhere with a single click. And to convert these designs to real-life PCB boards, look no further than JLC PCB. They provide all types of PCB services and assembly at very competitive prices. Their high-quality PCBs, accompanied by quick delivery and great customer service make them the perfect partner for your electronics projects. Check out the link in the description below to find out more about Altium Designer and JLC PCB. Number 6. With technology getting better, we only expect to get all good things in one place, right? So check this LED clock. This LED matrix not only shows time but also the weather conditions of your area and updates the data in 10 minutes. It also scrolls the top news headlines so you don't have to rely on an app for the same. Additionally, if you want an up-to-date crypto price, this clock covers that too. After connecting it to a local Wi-Fi network, you can control the text scrolling speed, brightness and different display types remotely via a web interface. Number 5. You might have seen a variety of weather stations on the web, but this among them is the simplest one. You just need a temperature, humidity and pressure sensor. The sensor senses the data and with the help of a node MCU, the values get displayed on a web page. The values get updated every 10 seconds so any sudden change in the readings can be monitored easily and necessary actions can be taken. Number 4. In order to maintain a healthy lifestyle, regular checkups are a must, but there are a few things that you can monitor yourself, like your heart rate and blood oxygen level. For that, you need to follow this project. On placing the finger over the sensor, values get displayed on a tiny OLED screen. This data also gets stored on a web application. 
With this feature, it becomes easy to monitor the health status over a period of time. So with all these simple steps, we can monitor our health status on our own. Number 3. Our next project is a stress reliever duck hunt game. This project is built on a breadboard with an LED display, some push buttons, resistors and connecting wires. If this setup seems bulky, you can play the same game using a miniature version of the project. The aim of the game is simple, you just have to shoot the ducks to gain points. Shooting bigger ducks will give you fewer points, while shooting the smaller ducks give you more points. The duration of this game is 1 minute, so gain more points within this time to achieve a high score. Number 2. Using this project, you will learn how to send sensor data over a web page. For this, connect the Node MCU to a sensor. For the software part, first you have to create an application in Microsoft Azure. Fill in the necessary details, and once the device gets deployed, you will see the confirmation message. Now the next step is to create a customized design template, since we are collecting the temperature and humidity reading. So only two capabilities are included here. After this, the next task is to configure the device. Once completed, the connection can be established between the server and the microcontroller, and the sensor readings can be monitored. Number 1. Using this project, you can change the color of RGB LEDs with a web browser. All you need is a smart device to access the web browser, and the current lighting style will be in your hands. Whether you want to work or are ready for a party, change the color and blend into that particular mode. What additional features can you add to this project to make it more exciting? Tell us in the comments. So these were some amazing projects using ESP8266 for beginners. If you found them useful, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. We'll see you again. Goodbye.